colleagues and students. I'd like to thank you very much for your support in the six months that I've acted as Vice Chancellor. We achieved a lot in that period and also with a calm environment conducive to studying, doing research and to working in support of the university's endeavors. We also managed to address the challenges that we have faced with NEFSAS to the best of our ability. We are still engaged with NEFSAS to clear the backlogs for 2017 and 2018. And we're urging and working with NEFSAS to ensure that the application process for 2019 is smooth and we do not face the problems that we face this year. We handled the emergency accommodation issue, but we now need to address the medium and long term accommodation shortages. We are doing this through a variety of means, engaging the province, the city and private providers in our environment. The biometric system is now in place and also we have opened new two gateways. Both systems have some glitches that are typical of new systems. We will solve this as we go ahead, but it means better security in entry as well as access to the university. The university has a number of initiatives, including the Vitz Food Bank that feeds a significant number of students. On the other and complementary side, we also run a food garden project where students, staff members, including our support staff who do cleaning, grow their own food and it's added to the food bank. All of these initiatives will be taken forward into the future to ensure that no student goes without a meal. On the 31st of August, my term as acting vice chancellor ends. Again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for the tremendous support that you gave me. I would not have been able to do this job without your support. On the 1st of September, the Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University, Professor Adam Habib, will resume office and start his second term. Thank you, colleagues and students. <laughs>